Shut up and sit down. Welcome back, friends. I'm Simon. And I am not Simon's wife, Ellie. I am Raj. I thought you changed a little bit. I <laughs> was confused there for a minute. I know. I injected myself with the X-Men serum and I, I can change whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so I am here for a change with my good buddy, Raj, who we've worked together for forever. And uh, Raj is clearly from India and has some recommendations for his top three favorite Indian movies. So Raj... Yeah. What is your your favorite Indian movie ever, and why should I, as a poorly educated foreigner, why should I check it out? Uh, my favorite Indian movie of all time is Dilwale Dulhaniya Le Jayenge. Well, that's so, easy for you to say. <laughs> <laughs> we will we'll have a test. In between the video, I'm going to ask Simon like how he pronounces certain Hindi words, you know, and we'll see how Simon's catching up to Indian uh, culture. Oh, man, I'm in trouble. Okay, <laughs> okay, I'm up, I'm up for the challenge. Yeah, but going back, so Dilwal Dulani Le Jayenge, uh, I released like 25 years back. Wow. It is like the Indian Titanic. But no one dies. Oh. Okay, everyone gets what they want. Is that a spoiler alert? Uh, I mean, I think your viewers, I, I assume most of them are from India. Chances are they have they have watched this movie. Okay. And in one movie theater, this movie has been playing for 25 years. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's like a world record. So the, the same movie, 25 years? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, exactly. So... I don't know if, if some young young folks are watching. Like I am clearly old. Uh, you have to go watch Dilwale Dulhaniya Le Jayenge. It's a classic Indian movie, and Simon, you should watch it this weekend okay. with your wife. Uh, but yeah, this brings a lot of good memories uh, because this is uh, one of the very first movie where it shows that you can live in England, America, wherever. But at the end of the day, your heart still is in India. Oh, right? nice. So, okay. Yeah, so the story is about a guy named Raj, right? Oh. Uh, and then he falls in love with this Indian girl and the girl's father does not want him to marry uh, his daughter. Mm, I right? see. Like a Romeo and Juliet kind of a Yeah, vibe. yeah. But okay. no one dies again. <laughs> yeah, and then and then uh, these, these two meet in a train. They fall in love. Then they don't fall in love. Maybe. And then there's a plot twist and whatnot. Okay. And it ends with like a, a train scene, the, the climax. And that's like a very, very famous uh, end scene. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, well, we're going to go ahead and watch the trailer right now, see what we think about this Indian classic Titanic-style movie. If you want to see what we think about it and hear us uh, talk about it and whether I can even pronounce it afterwards, then stick around until the end. But for now, let's go. Let's do it. Oh my God, he's so young. I just can't get over it. And Kajol was every boy's wet dream. <laughs> <laughs> this is this was my big break. Dilwale Dulania Le Jayenge. Jayenge. Okay. Jana Sanam. Oh, bless. <laughs> so they filmed in Switzerland, so that place is oh, right. like a, a very popular place now for Indians. When they go to Switzerland, they go to this place. Oh, yeah. That's cool. With yeah. all the different colored saris. Yep. <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah. So this is also a famous scene uh, where she doesn't want to marry her, the dad, 
uh, schedule like an arranged marriage for her, and she did not want to marry this guy. And then uh, she keep hearing this music. She keeps uh, thinking that Raj will come. And then one day uh, she heard the music again. She went to this uh, field and then there he was. So this is a very famous scene as well. Huh. I mean, I don't know how practical uh, this is these days <laughs> because these days the uh, the girl's dad will probably ask the boy, hey, are you a manager in IT yet? <laughs> <laughs> if you are not a manager in an IT company and not a doctor, there is no chance. Uh, but yeah, this was this was one of the like landmark Indian movie. Uh, all all the all the people on my on my age, so I'm like 40s now, have watched this movie multiple times. Really, it's that much of a classic. Um, this is that much of a classic. Yeah. That's uh, yeah. So I, I've seen movies with Shah Rukh Khan and yeah. Kajol in as well. I, uh, I and they're amazing actors, both of them. I've never seen them from this time period, which is just fascinating to see, like where it all began. So, mm -hmm. uh, is it pronounced Dilwale, Dulania, La Jayenge? Dilwale, Dulhania, Le Jayenge. Dilwale, Dulhania, Le Jayenge. Jayenge. Yeah, okay. that means uh, the man uh, who has a big heart. We'll get the bright. Oh, bless. Yeah. I, you know, I really liked the trailer. There was yeah. a lot that jumped out at me. Like you said, it's filmed in different places with, right. you know, very different scenery. I kind of like that. I, I find it boring if a movie's just too focused right. on the same place and the same, the same backdrops. I also really like just some of the stylistic choices, like running through that field yeah. of flowers. Like you said, I can understand yeah. why that became so iconic. The the slope in Switzerland with the, yeah. the jumping up and down in the snow. Yeah. Um, and it just felt very real as well. I, I, uh, I kind of like sweet stories as well, yeah. as much as I actually, I love action movies and horror movies and blah, blah, blah. But there's something that gets me in the feels. I'm kind of an emotional big, so <laughs> big uh, <laughs> baby, I guess is what I was trying to say. <laughs> so yeah, we all I, are, yeah. you know, when it comes to uh, some of stuff, we are all emotional, but you know, one thing I would say is, um, uh, these movies, have, you you could see a lot of color, a lot of like uh, uh, dancing, and a lot of like uh, raw emotion. Mm. Uh, and the, because this is from 1995, and now probably there are more nuances to the story because the stories are more political these yeah. days in the movies. Uh, so this movie did not have that kind of uh, politics and stuff, right? So it was like pure entertaining. Yeah. And also this was uh, like one of the first movies which which uh, film in all these different locations and it kind of glorified uh, rightfully so all the Indians who are moving uh, who lived in the foreign right? this oh, is the, this is okay. like 1995 so right when a lot of Indians started going to US and UK mm. uh, right so this is like before 2000 like dot-com bubble internet was getting big India a uh, lot of started producing a lot of IT yeah. right so uh, that's why this movie became very very popular not only in India but also uh, in US and UK that's pretty awesome and it's funny because to me as a foreigner yeah it looks very traditional like the clothing right. they're wearing the dancing looks yeah. very traditional the music sounds except very the traditional. one couple scenes where kajol is wearing like a short skirt and oh, dancing and a towel, a towel. <laughs> so that's why people are like oh okay kajol so yeah i'd be lying if i said i didn't have my dreams about kajol a couple nights i should there. imagine that scene was paused a lot <laughs> um that is true that yeah, well, uh, thank you for recommending it. I, it actually looks pretty awesome, and it's amazing to see where these powerhouse actors yeah. started their career. And, and like the fact about it being played in a cinema for 25 years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when Titanic released in the US, yeah. it felt like it was 25 years, but it was only, what, like, I don't know, 25 weeks or something, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this movie theater is called, I think, Maratha Mandir. It's in uh, Maharashtra. Okay. And, uh, yeah. So Titanic also I liked, but I don't know, like one, uh, the hero died. Yeah. But I yeah. was like, okay, can you not swap for five <laughs> minutes, five minutes? You stay on the thing for five minutes and then uh, you go in the water. 
right? I see. But uh, yeah, this movie, no one dies, spoiler alert. Uh, also, uh, let us know in the comments, like, what do you guys think of this movie? Have you watched it? Right? And uh, yeah, Simon's gonna watch it this weekend. And maybe you could do a post short post uh, post reaction short. I like it. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Tell us, is this one of your top three favorite Indian movies? If so, if so, why? What is it that you love about it? And I'll share my opinion after the weekend when I've seen it as well. But hey, thank you very much. Thanks, Raj, for the recommendation. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you very, very soon, friends, on the next Nerd Safari. All right. Cheers. <laughs>